The bruising battle between the St. Louis County Executive and the County Council left taxpayers holding the bag to the tune of more than $100,000. But this is one bill that could have been avoided. Elliot Davis explains in tonight's You Paid For It. The battle between the St. Louis County Executive Sam Page and members of the County Council cost you plenty. More than $127,000 for lawyers that four council members had to hire to defend themselves. Here's the current chair, Rita Days, who Sam Page wanted out. The county had to pay for this. It's unfortunate. Uh, I don't think it had to come to this, but it did. Councilman Mark Harder is the vice chair. And the taxpayers of St. Louis County had to pay for both sides of this frivolous lawsuit that shouldn't have happened to start with. This all started when Lisa Clancy, a big Sam Page ally, used to be the chair. Her term ended and she and Sam Page wanted her to keep that job. But it all came down to Councilwoman Rochelle Walton Gray, another Page ally who lost re-election. Her term was supposed to be up at the end of the year. But using an obscure clause and the new charter change, Clancy and company believed they could keep Walton Gray on the council an extra week so she could cast her vote for Clancy on January 5th. They wanted to move before Shalonda Webb, who beat Walton Gray, took office a week later. So the vote was held on January 5th, and Clancy was reelected as chair with Walton's vote. But a new majority took over when Shalonda Webb came on January the 12th. They voted Clancy out and voted Rita Days in as chair and Mark Harder as vice chair. The county councilor went to court and sued four council members to try and get Clancy back in. But a judge threw cold water on Page's plans, saying Walton Gray should not have been allowed to vote since her term was up. It meant Rita Days was still the chair, and it meant taxpayers got a $127,000 bill for council members to defend themselves that could end up being higher by the time all the bills roll in. Are you surprised that the courts sided with you guys? I am not. I, I think that, as I said earlier, uh, you do not get the chance or the opportunity or the whim, if you will, to expand someone's term. You just don't do that. So we're looking at a lot of things right now, and we really don't have time, uh, you know, to 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 go into, and in my opinion, a petty issue like this. I tried to reach Sam Page's office for their comment. No one called back. Keep in mind, we're looking out for your tax dollars. So if you spot questionable government spending, just go to our website, foxwhonow.com, or you can leave your tips and tell me what you think. After all, you paid for it.